said times in his rhymes cause his memories We running through New York so you never leave Shut my lungs then we puff until we're that right We're giving them some stories they come back like Manic this, manic that, why you crawling to me? Okay guys, welcome back to the membership Today I'm going to be showing you how to update your DME and your gearbox um, Using WinKFP Now as many of you guys know, I've got the bench set up I'm going to be updating this DME because it's a new DME I just got but it still applies for your gearbox and I'm going to show you how you go in, how you find out what gearbox you got and also what, how to update each one individually to know which one you're going to be updating on your car, how to see if they've been updated and also how to update them. So let's go onto the computer and I'm going to show you how to do all that right now and how to load up your datums as well, as well as update your modules safely, effectively and perfectly and make them run perfect after the update and I'll show you what you need to do after the update to make sure your modules run correctly so let's get on to it okay guys so as you'll see here we're in impa and i will link this down below from the bimmer geeks website you can download impa many of you guys don't know many of you probably already have this so as you'll see here this is what you're going to want to load to find out the information many of you guys would have seen in my video to find out which modules you're going to use um to program and if they're up to date and if they're VIN matched or if you need to change the VIN or anything like that. You can also reset adaption in this. Impa is a very powerful tool, only if you know how to use it. The one I get asked a lot is this, mostly in German. A lot of people don't know how to use it. They don't know what it means, but it's a very, very simple tool. And it's something I'll go through on a walkthrough later on in this program. But as you can see, you've got all the cars and you're just gonna to wanna to select what one's relevant to you. E46, E53 are all different compared to E60, 90. For instance, the same way you'd load up the information, on an E60 is not the same way you do it on an E46 because it's very different. So on this one, we've got an E87. So that's the one I got from the CAS and the DME from. So I'm going to click functional jobs. And as you're going to see here, it's going to load up a new section. So you've got information, which if I show you what that does, info will just tell you what car it is, where it come from, the group file, the control unit, and everything else and what language it's in, and so on and so on. And this is the SGBDs, which is the files which corresponds with it, the same files. So then that's just give you all that information. If we go to identification, 